in our last previous episodes uh, i have shown you how to start your grpc server and i have shown you how to create your uh, first api and in this video i'm going to show you how to uh, connect it to your grpc server using an, a grpc gui client and i'm going to show you how to test your uh, apis so for this purpose i'll be using an, a client called a uh, bloom rpc now uh, this is a uh, gui client just like postman which we use for our rest apis now uh, this gui client is freeware and you can download in the internet and i have provided a link in the description uh, it's just pretty easy to install now once you install this bloom rpc client so this is how interface uh, looks like here in uh, in uh, address bar you have to specify your uh, address and uh, server address and port now in my case i think my server is uh, running at uh, 9090 so i have specified my port at uh, 9090 now the next thing is that uh, you have to import your uh, proto files so i'm going to uh, import proto files so here i have an user proto file which we have created in previous video so once i import that you can see that it exposes two apis so which is what uh, we defined here so here you can see that uh, we have two APIs login and logout. Now when I click on login here, it uh, creates a default uh, JSON format input parameters for me. Now uh, you can see in my input uh, login request, I have username and password. So that's what uh, Bloom RPC did for me. And now uh, I'm going to run my server in uh, debug mode. Now, as you can see, the server started at uh, 9090 port. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go back to my uh, Bloom RPC client. I'm going to hit login API. Now, as you can see, the response is coming as a success and status code is zero. So this is what exactly we are uh, returning in our user service. And uh, here, uh, as you can see that we are returning success message when username and password equals. Now, in case if username and password uh, doesn't match, let's say for example like this, uh, it should respond uh, a message as invalid password. All right. Now that's how uh, you test your APIs using Bloom RPC. So uh, thanks for viewing, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe us.